is going on guys another fishing video coming at you today we are at the same creek we were at in the last video getting all those top water explosions double ups because who doesn't love more top water explosions no double ups though because we were actually solo in this video same creek though different section just kind of exploring it learning new water because once i find a body of water that i like to fish i like to find every little crevice and corner that fish will hide in that river because i don't know that's just who i am as a person i love exploration i love fishing new spots hope the background noise isn't bothering you guys too much i'm kind of next to a major road and two like big buildings but i think we're gonna be all right anyway this video is pretty awesome when i first got to the creek it was pretty dead i was kind of in a dead zone at first for about the first 30 minutes after that caught my first fish got myself some hope after that check google maps saw some nice ripples some nice current choke points up ahead fish those and you guys will see the fish were there i had a, like some schools going in one of the holes had a few nice blow ups one of them was literally like a bomb going off i know you guys are going to enjoy that and yeah i had an intro and outro and tons of awesome b-roll planned for you guys in this video like i was literally gonna go super like you know what i'm saying i was gonna edit it really nice for you guys i was gonna make it really artsy whatever you know whatever terms you want to use but it was gonna be a nice video of course lost my phone like a week ago if you guys watched my last video you'll know that so yeah i had to make give you guys an intro because you guys are worth more than just a little crappy montage of some music now for the intro you know i gotta show you guys my face say what's up catch up with you guys so yeah without further ado enjoy the video enjoy the blow-ups and hope you guys have a good day all right guys Whew. it's chilly <laughs> it's august and it's like 60 degrees right now and like yeah pretty cold for considering it's like 90 degrees all the other days i am at location x this is either, this is either gonna be the same oh there's fish under there for sure this is either gonna be the same location as my last video or just the same location different stretch has the same video different day depending on how i do the vid but we'll see just trying to whopper plop in this in these areas with current get some smallies this creek doesn't really have a high flow so it's like to find the smallies you got to find the current which is like you know this is the you know i'm in current right now right but it's so low flowing choke points like right there are pretty much the key to today's success there should be one i can let's see see what i'm saying it's just like not even a foot deep right here so if there was one there it would just be that one fish this one looks this spot looks a little deeper there he is there's the first fish just drag him over these rocks boom <laughs> all right first like I said, the very the spot that I said looked a little better than this spot because it's a little bit deeper. And we get ourselves the first fish of the day. He got both those front trebles somehow, even though he's tiny. I hate these wobber plopper hooks sometimes. Sometimes they're too sharp. There we go. Alright, not a big one, but there is big ones in here. First creek smolly of the day. Not a big one, but that's just good. The whopper plopper, it gets all of them. It gets all sizes, like ranges, which is why I kind of like it. Because even though you're fishing these little creeks, like you don't have to be worried about not catching anything because these little guys will clap at it too. First fish of the day, it's not a big one, but let's give him a professional like trout like release. <laughs> okay, well, he's gone. He'll find some deeper water to go chill in. That was the first spot. There should be more. Let's find out. It's honestly so good I didn't go that way because that's just a little freaking creek connected to the creek. That's a creek. That's where I'm supposed to go that way, guys. And this is a creek. I'm already almost on my destination. That's awesome. I kind of want to go check it out. It looks like there's a good spot right there. I mean, this is the 
creek I'm fishing, right? This is a tiny little, oh shit. Holy shit. Get up here. That's another two. Oh my God. Like I said, little tiny creek connected to the creek. There was fish in there. Got the hook out. I don't know if he's quite two. Yeah, he's two. That's a two. He slammed it, dude. Holy crap. That was right in front of me. Right? He's literally sitting in a runoff. In the, like, confrontation of a runoff creek. Not really a runoff. It's a creek. It is a creek, but it's just like a natural, super, like, low-key creek. And then where I'm supposed to go. We nail ourselves about a two. Say he's about 16 inches again. 15 and a half, 16. That like good creek bass size. Look at that. No, I don't know what you guys can see. I just like getting different angles of his body because these fish are so like exquisite. And look at his jaws. Like this fish, I'm almost sure has never been caught before. You know, like no blemishes on his jaws. I'm not gonna leave anything because I'm using the plopper. He didn't even really get hooked that bad. It's just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> now, I would get a picture, but these <laughs> these clips are like, they're great, you know? I want pics, but I don't really have anybody here to take pics with me, and I can't get like fire selfies, so. I'm saying that's about a 16 inch bass. Easy, creek, smally, dude, I told you, every size in here is nuts. It's freaking nuts. Look at that thing. Smashing top water in these little two to three foot deep creeks. Get that release. Get in that current. That's exactly where we want to be. God, they, they should be right in there. Oh shit, big one just smashed it right in front of me. Big one just smashed it right in front of me. Oh, he just hit it. He was, he was just right here in front of me again. Dude, he's so aggressive. Dude, he's right here. <laughs> it's like a two pounder. Gotta stay still. I knew there'd be a fish here. He swirled on it twice. How'd you miss it, dude? Oh, that's a big one. Ah, oh, come on. Six hooks on this thing. There he is. It's bigger than I thought. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Get him up on the bank. <laughs> that's two. He got off right here. He's all sandy, let me wash him off. Oh God. That's about a two pounder. Finally got it. Yep. Look at, look at this. Oh, there's nothing down his throat. Yep. Let's get him in the sun, maybe. The sun's over here. Now let's get him in the sun for you guys. Look at that bronze back out of this little creek. We washed him off quick out of the sand to make sure he got it. He kept his slime coat. 
but that's about a two pounder. He's not, you know, he's not over two pounds. He might be two point like one, but that's two. That's about probably like two pounds on the dot. I think it's about 16 inches. Quality Creek smallmouth. There's no doubt about that. So I think there's more of them. So I'm gonna let the hole chill out for a second and just get a quick, quick picture. Cause that's a good Creek Smalley right there. All right, we got a few pictures of this thing. Let's get a video of the release. Beautiful fish guys. Second bigger fish of the day, third fish of the day. I'd say he's ready to go. And there he goes. All right, let's get another one. Okay. Let's get another one. I know there's more in that hole because I was just getting hits from like fish that just all seemed kind of like different sizes. Like the same ish size range, you know what I mean? Like, and then that one I just caught headed out there. And you know, I got two hits right in front of me. I don't know if he swam all the way back there. Like, what's the word with that? Yeah, but these things. That's a big one, too. Not as big, I don't think. Hope that's not the. I don't think that's the same fish. It's a, okay, chill, 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 chill. Let's grab his body. Yeah, this one's a little bit smaller. Let's wash him off. Reels in the sand, whatever. I'll wash that off. These things fight hard, guys. I was literally about to say right before this fish hit, these guys hit so hard, like hit hard, number one. But number two, when you hook them, like you don't know if it's like a four or a one until you like see the fish. Because, okay, like don't get me wrong, a four is gonna fight really hard, but they always have that first hit. Like, let me get them in the sun for you guys. Yeah, but they always have like that first when they hit and they take off and they're just like, doom, dude, they're, they're doing the first run, head shake, run, head shake, and your rod is just bop, 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 bop. And it's just crazy. I would get a picture of this one too, but I got GoPro clips, man. These beautiful blow ups in the beautiful creek, smallies. It's like a little mini football, dude. Look at that thing. I don't know why I'm holding them like that. But yeah, it's about a 13 and a half inch smallie, probably about 14 maybe pound and a quarter just throwing back mm -mm. I got a good one right here in front of me when I wasn't even looking it's a good one that's a solid one right there, boys. Okay. He grabbed at it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, that's what we came here for. About a 15 incher. I knew there was gonna be one sitting right there. Just kind of worked it slow. I know you guys heard it, you guys might have not seen it, but you guys saw me fighting that fish. That's a good smolly, dude. It's so freaking dense. Like it's, okay, this is probably, like I said, 15 inches, you know, woo woo. But it's like super tense. Like the fish is just all muscle. But that's a good creek smolly right there, boys. About a 15 incher, 14 and a half incher. Probably about a pound and a quarter pound. Not quite a pound and a half. Maybe a pound and a half, I don't know. But it's a pretty solid fish right there what I came out here for. If I don't get anything over two pounds, if I catch those all day, that's like, that's, that's fine. All I have to do is just work this pool. I knew there'd be one, cause there was like a little deep pot, you know, you guys know, I just, I read the current, or the situation, it got me a fish. I got a couple of good selfies. Oh, he almost got away. All right, yeah, one last look at that fish. Sun kind of came out so I can get you guys a look at his colors. Yeah, look at that thing. Beautiful, man, beautiful. Now let's release him. Okay. 